guys it's another Sunday and therefore it's another vlog um, starting the vlog on Sundays I feel like I don't know we always do more stuff on Sundays there's always a lot to do on Sundays but anyways we are going to a it's a cute little town in south southern Maine we want to do this cliff walk um, we want to get some smoothies and yeah, we'll show you guys around. We arrived in Agunquit and we're gonna walk to get some smoothies and then we're gonna do the cliff walk. This is the green bowl one that I order with spinach, some pineapple, mango. And this is yours. That is same thing minus the spinach. Those are so good. We love those so much. Once again, I'm gonna get some groceries. Place. <laughs> gonna get some groceries here, and then we're gonna go to the other grocery shop.
Monday, I'm so tired. We ended up walking three miles and a half on that cliff walk that we did. Um, I'm so tired. I don't know why that exhausted me so much, but it was beautiful. Oh my gosh. I always love doing that cliff walk. The views are just breathtaking. We absolutely love that. And then we got some groceries and put the groceries away and cooked some dinner. And I was just talking with my family on the phone for a little bit. And yeah, and it's already 10 p.m. So I'm exhausted, but I'm going to do my skincare, uh, my night skincare. And I'm going to roll my hair up as I've been always doing lately. Um, so exciting thing that I finally got the... Uh, how do you pronounce that? Biodense, I guess. Biodense uh, sleep masks. I got the bio collagen and the real deep mask. So this is supposed to be the the real overnight mask. Remember that I was talking about the loops masks that I loops mask that I used in the other vlog and. It was not like you wouldn't sleep with the mask on. It was just you put it on for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, and then you would take it off. And yeah, I'm never saying that it was an overnight mask or a sleep mask. But anyway, so yeah, so I got the Biodense mask. I'm so excited to try this. I'm going to do my skincare normally as I would, and then I'm going to put that on top. I also got this thing that I see some people using on tiktok and on instagram i guess um for your chin and supposed to be to lift your chin up i don't know why not to try right i have no idea how i'm gonna sleep with those but i'm excited to try so first of all let's do my hair and i feel like my hair has improved a lot in this last week I've been oiling a lot and I washed it today and I oiled before I washed to protect my hair. And I also bought this ghost oil from this brand Verb. It's so good. I feel like immediately my hair gets smoother and I don't know, just like less frizzy, I guess. I've been really obsessed with this um, hair oil. And it smells very good. It's very like concentrated and thick, but it doesn't make your hair heavy or super oily, if that makes sense. I don't know if I mentioned that in the vlogs before. My hair, I used to have highlights on my hair and then I kind of got tired of that and I just wanted my natural color back. I did like a semi-glaze, I guess. That's how they call um and I cover the highlights up and but I still have a little bit on the bottom of my hair and obviously that was not that great for my hair and it damaged my hair a lot. My hair also grows very fast and I feel like after I dyed my hair it was kind of like it slowed down a little bit. So yeah, so I took some vitamins, I've been oiling and um scalp massaging so i feel like this is gonna help it's already like growing and i have a haircut next week please hold for more updates on that sense also having an issue with my lips uh lately few i wouldn't i wouldn't say a couple months ago but maybe like a month ago a little over a month ago i got a diamond glow um facial and she also did on my lips and for some reason that really damaged my lips and I don't know if you, if you notice uh, on the camera right on the screen but my lips are very dry and really bruised for the past month which is crazy so I don't know what's going on but anyways all right, so let's do my hair. I'm gonna do the overnight blowout that we've been doing. I really like this. And I feel like I'm finally getting the hang of it because the first few days to put this on, it was not that great. I didn't, I didn't do a great job. Mm. 
kind of like squish. I have so much hair. I have so much hair. And I feel like I shed a lot. I'm always like, oh my gosh, I'm losing a lot of hair, but I'm actually not because it's so much hair. Wow. Because I feel like the ideal for me would be to do three rolls, and it comes with three rolls, but it's just impossible to sleep with three rolls because it's so uncomfortable on your head. Okay. The last vlog I was sleeping with this on, which wouldn't cover the front roll or bun, and then I got this one. This bonnet on Amazon, which is so good, it's so comfortable. Just do this. So after you put it on, make sure it's on place. And then I cross once, and then I cross on the top. And I do kind of like a knot and a lace. Ta-da! It's not the sexiest thing in the world but at least when you wake up you will be beautiful and sexy and your hair will be frizzless is that a word all right so the skincare we gonna do the same as we've been doing that you guys have seen me doing we're gonna do our beloved anua 77 heart lift toner the second toner would be the rice ceramic it's like a moisturizing toner. This one is super consistent and thick, so I can apply with my hands. My Auto Advanced Defense and Repair Serum that I use AM and PM. Let's use a tiny little bit at night. And then we're gonna do our overnight retinol alpha ret. Love this product. Okay. Showtime. I'm making such a big deal about this. Okay. So it looks like a normal mask, but it's supposed to become transparent or invisible after your skin absorbs the product. So that's the biggest trick here. I wonder if this is gonna really attach to my skin. Okay. Oh, I guess I made a hole here with my nails. Wonderful. Okay, it's gonna be very interesting to sleep with this because I don't know if it's gonna fall off. I'm really skeptical that this is gonna stay on all night. Okay, hair is up. Mask is on. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone, it's 10.26 now, um, I'm heading to the gym and what a night I had, oh my gosh, I didn't get much sleep, I feel so tired, um, my husband and I were both awake throughout the night, we don't know why, um, most of the time, so I kind of like I went to bed for a little bit and then I woke up at 3 and only got back to sleep around 7 a.m i was at the point of like okay i'm just gonna give up and i'm just gonna you know get up and go to gym or go enjoy the day but i was feeling so tired 
I'm still tired. I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm just chugging some energy drink right now and heading to the gym. Um, maybe I'll feel better after I work out. And yeah, not much going on today. It's supposed to be a very nice day out. We're just gonna enjoy the beach for a little bit today, hopefully. Alright, I got home from the gym. It was a tough workout. I was just not feeling it because I feel like I didn't get enough sleep. But got it done. I hate when I do those kind of workouts where you're rushed, where you're just like not mentally or physically there. But anyways, we got it done. Then I'm back home. Um, I put some bikini on. It might be windy, but I mean, it's such a beautiful day out. I'm just gonna try to enjoy it since we we have the days off. Um, I am starving right now. I'm gonna make some boiled eggs and, and then I'm gonna toast this bagel that we got yesterday. It is a jalapeno cheddar. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am? lasagna lately i'm a big fan of lasagna it's my comfort food from my childhood my mom always used to make lasagna i have some lasagna noodles here we're gonna use the real tomato sauce for that we have some uh, vegan meat for that as well so yes i'm gonna start the process and i'll just show you guys how I usually make my lasagna, although there's no mystery at all. All right, so the first step, we have to boil the lasagna noodles. This one is like the traditional lasagna noodles that you need to cook first before you put in the oven. There are some in the market that you can buy that it's already pre-cooked, I guess. So you don't need to boil, but I like this one's better. So we're gonna boil that first and everything else it's pretty simple and then we're gonna make the meat with the sauce and after that it's just like you're gonna build up the layers Hey guys, it's Bruna from the future. I just want to give you a little context on this part of the video. So on Tuesday, I woke up, I was not feeling good. I really felt fatigued and felt like I was getting sick. I ended up going to the gym, which was not a very smart decision because it ended up taking a lot of my energy. But anyways, when I came back, I really wanted to clean and tidy up the office. Also setting up my workstation, I got some equipment, so I was just setting everything up together. I didn't film anything else for two reasons. One, because this vlog is already too long, and two, because I really went down with something. And the end of my day on Tuesday, I was just laying in bed and feeling very sick. Um, so yeah, so now I'm feeling better and I really hope you enjoyed this video. It means a lot that you watch it and you hear and yeah, 
If you have any questions or anything, please leave down in the comments. Don't forget to press the like button because it helps me a lot. And to subscribe so you will be notified when a new video is coming up. So take me to you.